Chambers Street World Trade Center, Park Place, Cortland Street is a New York City subway station complex on the Ind 8th Avenue Line, IRT Broadway 7th Avenue Line, and BMT Broadway Line. Located on Church Street between Chambers and Cortland Streets in Lower Manhattan, it is served by the 2. A&E trains at all times W train on weekdays 3. CNR trains at all times except late nights N train during late nights The station also connects to the path via the World Trade Center Transportation Hub, which links this station with the nearby Fulton Center. Topic. Station layout Topic. Chambers Street World Trade Center, Park Place Topic. Cortland Street Topic. Ind 8th Avenue Line Platforms Chambers Street World Trade Center on the Ind 8th Avenue Line is an express station with four tracks and two island platforms, but in an unusual layout, the station has separate island platforms for express and local trains. Both island platforms can accommodate 600-foot trains. There is a passenger connection between the two platforms at mezzanine level. This passageway also includes the in-system transfer to the IRT station. Both platforms opened just after midnight on September 10, 1932, as did the rest of the Ind 8th Avenue line north to Inwood 207th Street. A late 1990s renovation saw prefabricated tile panels installed on the trackside wall of the express platform, with a tile band of Concord Violet bordered in black and chambers in white copperplate lettering on black tiles on each panel, and on the local platform's walls the new tiles were installed in 3 foot by 2 foot sections with a slightly different shade of dark blue-violet bordered in black, no station name captions were placed. The trim lines in the entryways and passages use the Concord violet color rather than the blue-violet. Chambers Street Chambers Street, the express platform, is a through station. Just north of Chambers Street Station is a third track between the uptown and downtown express tracks, with connecting switches at both ends, which was used to turn trains when Chambers Street was used as a terminal, before the Broadway Nassau Street, now Fulton Street station opened on February 1, 1933. It is served by the A and C trains. This platform is not wheelchair accessible, although it can possibly gain accessibility in the future because the elevator to the local platform leads to the mezzanine that is shared with this station. However, it is one block away from the Chambers Street station on the IRT Broadway 7th Avenue line, which is wheelchair accessible. Topic World Trade Center World Trade Center, the local platform, forms the terminus of the local service and is offset to the south of the express platform, at the northern edge of the World Trade Center site. It is served by the E-Train. Southbound local trains reach the platform by ramping underneath the express tracks south of Canal Street Station. The northern end of the World Trade Center station has a signal tower and a diamond crossover switch that are roughly at the middle of the through platform. The local tracks end at bumper blocks at the south end of the platform. In addition, there is a platform-level passageway on the western side of the station toward the platform's south end, evidence of a former half-length side platform for the western track, while in passenger use as a connection to the rest of the station. The former platform is now fenced off from the rest of the local platform level, and passengers must now use the mezzanine to access the island platform. 
A connection to the World Trade Center PATH station is also available at the station's south end. This, in turn, gives access to the Fulton Center via the Day Street Passageway, the Cortland Street Station of the BMT Broadway Line, and the WTC Cortland Street Station on the IRT Broadway 7th Avenue Line. Another passageway also leads directly to the southbound BMT Broadway Line platform. The station was formerly named Hudson Terminal or H&M, after the nearby Hudson Terminal of the Hudson and Manhattan Railroad now the path. Since 1973, this station has been named after the two World Trade Centers. Wall tiles reading H&M remained on the walls of the World Trade Center station as late as December 1974, a year after the first World Trade Center was completed. The tiles were initially painted over, but since the station's renovation, they have been covered over. Topic. Accessibility At the extreme southern end of the station is the exit to the Cortland Street Station, along with a few high entrance exit turnstiles heats. Only this platform was ADA accessible, and currently, only this platform is ADA accessible. The doors and original ADA accessible ramp, as well as the structure from the first World Trade Center leading into the station, survived the September 11 attacks. The station itself was not damaged, but it was covered by dust and was subsequently closed. The passageway reopened for a while to provide an ADA connection from the New York City subway station to the temporary World Trade Center PATH station, but was closed again when the temporary PATH station closed for a reconstruction. The passageway was then covered in plywood for preservation purposes. The renovated entrance, leading from the New York City subway station to the newly rebuilt PATH station's Oculus Headhouse as well as to the Westfield World Trade Center, opened on December 19, 2016. The newly reopened passageway retained its pre-9-11 design, save for a door on display that has the words, MATF 1913 spray painted on it a message from urban search and rescue massachusetts task force one of beverly massachusetts who searched the world trade center site on september 13 2001 there is a plaque above the spray painting explaining the message on the door path was required to preserve the passageway's original design as per section 106 of the national historic preservation act as a condition for getting funding to construct the oculus and new stations the passageway was not be made ada accessible again until 2017 as there are 26 steps down from the mezzanine to the oculus headhouse's lobby the World Trade Center platform is ADA accessible as of December 31, 2017, via this passageway as well as a side entrance to the Oculus Headhouse. The MTA's elevator to the local platform, at the southeast corner of Church Street and Park Place, connects to the local platform via a long ramp from the main mezzanine shared with Chambers Street, but it has been out of service since 2001 due to long-term construction on the current World Trade Center. Topic. Exits. Exits, entrances through turnstiles to Church Street are located in the mezzanine of this station, along with a few high entrance exit turnstiles heats. There are street stairs at all four corners of Church and Chambers Streets, at both western corners of Church and Warren Streets, at both western corners of Church and Murray Streets, at all four corners of Church Street and Park Place, there is also an elevator to the local platform at the southeastern corner, at the southwestern corner of Church and Barclay Streets, at the northwestern and southeastern corners of Church and Vesey Streets, 
At the northeastern corner of Church and Fulton Streets there is also a passageway to the PATH station at the very southern end of the local platform see section accessibility. .The only transfer between the local platform and the express platform is available only at the very tips of both platforms, where the two platforms are opposite each other for a few feet. Passengers must walk down the express platform to the southernmost staircase, go up to a different part of the mezzanine, cross over, and then go down a staircase to the northern end of the local platform. This complex transfer is to allow a continued underground mezzanine outside of fare control from the southern end at the World Trade Center, which is just one block west of the Fulton Street station on the Eind 8th Avenue line, to the most northern street stairs at Chambers and Church Street, which is just one block east of the Chambers Street station of the IRT Broadway 7th Avenue line. The total length of the mezzanine is seven blocks. Topic. Presentation on maps The station has been portrayed in a variety of ways on New York City subway maps since 1932. Originally, it was shown as a single station called Chambers Street Hudson Terminal. Starting in about 1948, two stations were shown, Chambers Street Hudson Terminal for the express trains continuing to Brooklyn, and Hudson Terminal for the local trains terminating at the station. A 1959 map showed two stations enclosed in a box, but a single label. The 1964 and 1966 maps were similar. On the 1972 map, it once again appeared to be a single station, with the label showing Chambers Street, Hudson Terminal, World Trade Center, and PATH, although the Hudson Terminal office building complex had already been demolished by this time. On the current map published by the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, it is shown as two separate stations with a free transfer. Chambers Street, served by A and C trains, and World Trade Center, served by E trains. Signs in the Fulton Center only show the E when pointing toward the World Trade Center station, as the A, C, 2 and 3 trains serve both station complexes. Topic: January 23, 2005 fire. Around 2 p.m. on January 23, 2005, a fire destroyed the interlocking plant at Chambers Street. As a result, two-thirds of a trains were cancelled or rerouted, including all rush hour trips to Rockaway Park Beach 116th Street. C service was completely suspended and replaced by the A and V in Brooklyn and A, B, D, and E in Manhattan. Some newspaper articles blamed the fire on a homeless person trying to keep warm, but that was never confirmed. Until January 28, the MTA rerouted the A to the connected Eind 6th Avenue Line, Rutgers Street Tunnel, and Eind Culver Line, the route used by regular F service, from West 4th Street to J Street between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m., in order to perform critical repairs. Initial estimates gave a time of three to five years to restore full service because the destroyed equipment was custom-made for the MTA. That was later cut back to six to nine months to bring back normal operations. However, C service and 70% of a service was restored at 5 a.m. on February 2, 2005, only 10 days after the fire. The rush hour at trips were restored on February 14. On April 21, full service was restored. However, effects of the fire continued into 2006 because the equipment had not been replaced. Topic: IRT Broadway 7th Avenue Line Platform. The Park Place station on the IRT Broadway 7th Avenue line was built on the portion of the line built as part of the dual contracts, which is the section south of Times Square 42nd Street. 
The line first opened as a shuttle to 34th Street Penn Station on June 3, 1917, and then south to South Ferry on July 1, 1918. On this same date, the Fulton Street Station opened, with service to the station running as a shuttle between Chambers Street and Wall Street, on the line's Brooklyn branch. On August 1, 1918, the new H system was implemented on August 1, 1918, joining the two halves of the Broadway 7th Avenue line and sending all West Side trains south from Times Square. As a result, shuttle service to this station was replaced by through service. During the 1964 1965 fiscal year, the platforms at Park Place, along with those at four other stations on the Broadway 7th Avenue line, were lengthened to 525 feet to accommodate a 10 car train of 51 foot IRT cars. Between April 3 and October 1, 1999, this station was closed for escalator replacement and a station rehabilitation, it has two tracks and a single island platform with a line of blue I-beam columns with alternating ones having the standard black name plate in white lettering. Both track walls have a mostly gold trim line along with the P tablets at regular intervals. Northwest Railroad North of the station, the tracks of this station become the express tracks of the IRT Broadway 7th Avenue line, curving sharply northeast under West Broadway. The station is very close to the next stop north, Chambers Street at West Broadway, and the northernmost entrances of this station at Church and Chambers Streets are less than 400 feet 120 meters from the entrances to the station at Chambers Street and West Broadway. Exits The station has a mezzanine at each end. Towards the western end of the platform, two long staircases lead up to an intermediate landing where another, shorter staircase leads up to the main end mezzanine near the full oculus mosaic. From here, there is a bank of turnstiles leading to the street stair that goes to the northwest corner of Park Place and Church Street. A staircase in this mezzanine leads down to the very southern end of the Eind Express platform, where transfer to the local platform is via another set of stairs. The IRT platform has its own entrance, exit at its extreme eastern railroad south end. Here, a staircase and two escalators, none of which are together, lead up to a mezzanine just beneath the street. The staircase splits into two separate staircases at an initial landing and each of those have another intermediate landing. On this mezzanine, there are turnstiles, both regular and heat, from when the mezzanine had a part-time token booth and the regular turnstiles could not be left unstaffed. A single street stair leads out to the northwest corner of Broadway and Park Place. The signage for this entrance is the only one in the complex that says, Park Place, with bullets only for the two and three trains. This stair is very close to the BMT Broadway Lines City Hall station, an entrance to which is about 200 feet 61 meters away, on the other side of Broadway. A short staircase in that mezzanine once led to an entrance to the lobby of the Woolworth Building. It has been closed since the September 11 attacks. Topic. BMT Broadway Line Platforms Portland Street is a local station on the BMT Broadway Line. Originally opened in 1918, the station is located under Church Street, between Fulton and Cortland Streets. This underground station, opened on January 5, 1918, has two tracks and two side platforms. It is the closest station on the BMT Broadway line to the World Trade Center. 
Immediately north of this station, the line utilizes a sharp reverse curve, first turning east under Vesey Street, then turning north under Broadway towards City Hall. Passageways link this station to three others outside fare control, the World Trade Center Path Station, the WTC Cortland Station, and the Fulton Street Station, all through the Day Street passageway underneath the station. The station also contains a free transfer to the Chambers Street World Trade Center and Park Place stations via the southbound platform. Topic. Exits Both eastern corner of Church and Day Streets contain a staircase exit from the northbound platform. There is also a staircase to the northeast corner of Church and Cortland Streets. Both platforms are connected to the World Trade Center Transportation Hub via an underpass and to the Fulton Center via the Day Street Passageway. This station is ADA accessible via the latter connection. An underground passageway also leads to One Liberty Plaza. An exit at the north end of the southbound platform once led to the original World Trade Center's lower concourse, and now leads to the Westfield World Trade Center shopping mall within the WTC Transportation Hub. A passageway at the north end of the southbound platform also leads to the World Trade Center subway station. The connection opened on December 29, 2017 along with a passageway connecting World Trade Center with Tower 2, and passageways connecting the southbound platform of Cortland Street to the Oculus and to Tower 4. Fare control areas had to be reconfigured. Topic. Station work The station was overhauled in the late 1970s, with repairs made to the structural and cosmetic appearance. The original BMT wall tiles were removed and the new station walls contained cinderblock tiles, colored white with small recesses painted yellow, with black and white station name signs bolted into the recesses. Lighting was converted from incandescent to fluorescent and staircases and platform edges were repaired. Much of the cosmetic change that came with this renovation was undone in a subsequent 1998–1999 renovation. In addition to state of repair work and upgrades for ADA accessibility, the station's original 1918 tilework was restored. Other improvements were made to the public address system, directional signage, and concrete trackbeds. The station sustained significant damage during the collapse of the adjacent World Trade Center towers on September 11, 2001. It was closed for repairs, which included removal of debris, fixing structural damage, and restoring the trackbeds, which had suffered flood damage in the aftermath of the collapse. The station reopened on September 15, 2002. On August 20, 2005, the station was closed again for installation of the Day Street passageway below Day Street as part of the Fulton Center project. At the same time, the station was made ADA accessible in both directions. Previously, the station was accessible on the southbound side only via the temporary PATH World Trade Center station's elevator. MTA posters and flyers at that time indicated the station would reopen in the spring of 2006, and later by spring of 2007, but neither reopening schedules occurred. The northbound side of the station finally reopened on November 25, 2009. The southbound platform reopened on September 6, 2011, while continuing excavation along the Church Street side of the World Trade Center site was being performed. The Day Street passageway, outside of the fare control, connects the Fulton Street Station complex to the Cortland Street Station and to the World Trade Center Transportation Hub. It opened on November 10, 2014, while the World Trade Center was still under construction. With the opening of the Day Street Passageway, ridership at the station has increased dramatically. 
Between 2014 and 2016, ridership at the station increased from 1,500,040 to 4,270,036, a 184% increase. Topic: Image Gallery. Topic: Artwork. Topic: Oculus Mosaics. There are over 300 mosaics dispersed throughout the IND and IRT stations, which are part of the 1998 installation Oculus created by Kristen Jones and Andrew Ginzel. These eyes were modeled on photographs of the eyes of hundreds of New Yorkers, according to Jones and Ginzel. Oculus is a constellation of stone and glass mosaics in the underground labyrinth of interconnected subway stations of Lower Manhattan. Over 300 mosaic eyes, drawn from a photographic study of more than 1,200 young New Yorkers, are set into the white tile walls of the World Trade Center, Park Place, Chamber Street stations. The work's centerpiece is a large exquisitely detailed, elliptical glass and stone mosaic floor 38 feet 8 in by 20 feet 8 inches at the heart of the Park Place station. The continents of the Earth, interwoven with the city of New York amidst an ultramarine pool, surround a large eye in the middle of the mosaic. The mosaic is at once a vision of the world, a reflecting pool of water and a representation New York City in its proper geographical orientation. The work's detailed renderings of the eye the most telling, fragile and vulnerable human feature offer a profound sense of intimacy within a public place. Together, the images create a sense of unity and flow, animating, orienting and humanizing the station. Oculus invites a dialogue between the site and those who move through it. Oculus was realized in collaboration with the Roman mosaicist, Rinaldo Pires, Sectile. <laughs> Nearby points of interest Brookfield Place, formerly World Financial Center, Battery Park City, Century 21, also near the adjacent Fulton Street Station, Church Street Post Office, New York Public Library, New Amsterdam Branch, Saks Fifth Avenue Downtown Division, Street, Paul's Chapel, Trinity Church, Woolworth Building. World Trade Center buildings see also World Trade Center site equals equals notes <laughs>